Now let's discuss about the venous drainage of the stomach. Here, from the spleen, one vein passes, that is the splenic vein, this is the splenic vein. It joins with the superior mesenteric vein. Here is superior mesenteric vein. Both deep, these veins join to form portal vein. This is portal vein. So, splenic vein and superior mesenteric vein join to form portal vein. This is portal vein. And this is superior mesenteric vein. This is splenic vein. So here numerous short gastric veins runs along the gastric artery here. These veins dance into the splenic vein. Here is left gastroepiphyseal vein. It drains into the splenic vein. Here is a right gastroepiphyseal vein. This drains into the superior mesenteric vein. Here is this is left gastric vein drains into portal vein. Here is a right gastric vein which also drains into the portal vein. So left and right gastric vein both drains into portal vein. So this is venous drainage and here it communicates with the esophageal vein here. Left gastric vein and here is systemic vein of the esophagus. So this is the site of the porta cable anastomosis. Here is systemic vein and this is portal vein. Between portal and systemic vein there is here is anastomosis. This is known as porto systemic anastomosis. In case of obstruction of the this portal vein the blood passes through this and here these veins at the site of anastomosis become dilated and form the esophageal varices. This is known as esophageal esophageal varices. So this is all about the venous drainage of the stomach.